Hello. So it's been a while now since I made the last lesson. I uh, just got uh, no time for this because of many projects going on at the academy and stuff. But now I thought of making a small pause and just starting a new one. This is one for rigging. I'm gonna make a little tip for you. I'll show you a little trick how you can change the geometry type, uh, or at least uh, the edge flow and the topology of your model that already has been rigged and skinned. And so I'm also going to, going to show you a trick on how to preserve blend shapes that could have been already made for this. So I'm going to take this model inside the joints and even the control curves. I'm also gonna get my my input mesh for this this one so we can clearly see our edge flow and, uh, and also um, because of many requests I'm gonna make tomorrow not now a little video on my cloth model tutorial and show with explanations and descriptions and uh, step by step how to create cloth like this or like in the other video but again this is for tomorrow not now i don't have enough time today so let's get rid of the cloth now so let's say we want to i don't know let's try just something simple so that you get the point let's say we want to have we want to get rid of this is because we say uh, this is useless, we need it. It's just wasted geometry, wasted edge flow and topology. So what we could do is go ahead and do this on this particular model. To select left and right and say I'm uh, going to delete edge and slash vertex. Or rather than deleting this edge, let's say I want to delete this one. And these ones here, I'm not gonna care now about triangles. Just to with the split polygon tool or uh, the interactive split tool that is reconnecting the edges over here, checking for. Uh, see, we got some triangles. I'm gonna fix this. Fix, fix them this way. Joining them here to there and there. Okay. Then with the with the Scott geometry tool, I'm gonna have, gonna go ahead and relax this geometry to get a nice edge flow again. Okay, like this. Then we just need to smooth the normals, and now we have our new. And you see now in the inputs, we got a lot of stuff going on here. So you have down here is our skin cluster, our blend shapes, and the tweak nodes. And uh, down here I have also the expression made for some blend shapes. And up here we see a soft edge or tweak or split polygon or delete edge nodes. All transformations are here. So if we know where to move this model with the inputs like this, it's going to be a you see it's a loss of performance, a massive loss of performance. I usually have to, uh, used to have 40 or 60 frames doing this. And also in smooth mode, I have I would have a, a very nice performance. And you see it's impossible to animate like this. So we're going to undo this. And I if I now undo every step I got here, my would it would rather crash, so I'm just going to open a new file. I'm going to import my model. And I'm going to show you how to make this the right way. So here is it. I'm going to hide the joints, hide the control curves. Okay, add the cloth layer. So what we did now, uh, again I need to because this is my, my smooth proxy now, this is uh, high poly, like this, show me this. What I could have done is, I could have gone ahead and just uh, press this 
delete non performer history button which can be found under edit delete by type non deformer history this would uh, go ahead and only delete our nodes that are not connected to any deformers but this is also not good because uh, I had experience that this messes up my blend shapes so that the sliders uh, don't work uh, the way they should or they don't work at all so I'm going to show you how to do this the clean way also for preserving our blend shapes and from getting them to the new target so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this model and duplicate it then unlock the translate channels move this over and let's say we want to repeat what we did before just select those edges and hit the delete uh, vertices slash edges you can also find this here under there edit mesh delete edge less vertex I switched uh, quickly switched between my tabs with the F keys so F1 is the help F2 is animation F3 is polygon then you can surface dynamics and rendering so I want to stay with the polygon for now. Then with the interactive split tool, reconnect those edges. And repair these repair these triangles. And now uh, relax the geometry to maintain the nice edge flow. You would uh, rather go ahead and use this in reflection mode to have everything uh, perfectly symmetrical but I'm not gonna go and care about this now. So now you see we have our new mesh. We can now go ahead and delete the history. Move this back on. I, I snap this by holding the X key while middle mouse button moving. That way you can snap to the grid. See here the movements, it always snaps to the grid. Okay. So now we have our new reshaped mesh and what we're gonna do now in my selection tab here we're gonna select all of my bound joints uh, I made the digital tutor switch so uh, they all got a prefix of BN underscore you can select, select all of them by uh, going to the selection um, by the quick select menu here and type in the prefix of your bones and then put an asterisk to select everything with which begins with that mod. So when I now hit, uh, it's because I've imported my model. I need to hit uh, hit the prefix also at the beginning. And now here we go. Two hundred and seventy-one bones selected. Now I'm gonna go to my shift select or uh, just did it in the outliner and control selected my my new mesh. And then we go to skin. Bind skin, smooth bind options. I'm gonna stick with my options. It's uh, bind to select joints because I don't want to uh, select anything down the hierarchy. Uh, I have some end joints which I don't want to bind. Binding method is closest in hierarchy because this gives us uh, better initial weights to work on. And I have, uh, I would choose classic linear, but I always like white blended if I ever wanted to do do a containing skinning which I can explain in another lesson in more depth and normalized weights are like on post if I don't work with components for um, for influence objects and the rest is uh, really self-explanatory so I'm gonna s just gonna go and bind the skin and you see if I now use my MURPS curves to control this we have two meshes bound to these bones. You can see now, this mesh is my initial mesh. It has nice skin weights and if everything is matching. The other mesh has the default skin weights which comes with the bind skin. You see how messy this is. So the easy way now, we just select our first mesh, the one that has nice skin weights. 
and then shift select our second mesh. Oh wait, this is our second mesh. And this is the, uh, this is the first. And this is the second. We want to do it the right way. And I'll go under skin, and it's move skin, copy skin weights. I'm gonna go to the options box to explain the uh, the options we have. So we have surface association. We want to do with a closest point on surface. So we'll check the world space for it to match the points. And now, since everything is in the right place, we can we can leave this. So like this raycast. It's an algorithm. I don't know how this works, but uh, every time I use this, it gets my weight messy. I don't like it. You could also have used closed component, which is uh, similar to this one, except that it also looks at the joints. For this or we could use uv space but since the models have the same uv space no, we could we could use this too but since i created new geometry i want to keep with this space closest point you know the influence associations they explain by themselves i think we have closest joints so that we look for the joints which is closer to points and no oh wait yeah, so this uh, doesn't matter. You can use uh, one for name, two for closest bone, and three one to one. I would need to uh, to read the uh, the description of those of the documentation. I don't know what this does now. I don't know. I just know it works. So now we just copy. And if we now see what it ha what we have, we see everything works. The way it should. We have now two meshes with the exact same skin weights, so we could now go ahead and delete this first one, but we will need it. Well, no, we actually won't need it. But anyway, I will. I will leave it like this. And I'm going to stop the lesson here, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to apply this also to your blend shapes if you have some, or you can get the blend shapes with this new geometry because if we now use our blend shapes let's see um, and back here it doesn't happen nothing it, uh, it happens nothing but it also happens nothing in here so we have we still have no blend shapes on our new mesh I want to transfer all of the blend shapes on the old mesh to the new one with the new topology so nothing moves here unexpectedly so I'm going to explain this in the next lesson. See you there.